Physical media is great because it gives us ownership and total control over our entertainment, but it does have a few big downsides. The biggest one being the space that the collection itself takes up. Coming up on Serial at Midnight, I'll show you a hack that I found to turn this into something a lot more shelf friendly. Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath and in this episode we're talking about how I turned this into something a lot more collector friendly. This is 100 DVD cases and I've really just chosen 100 because I wanted you to see how many, how much space 100 DVD cases take up. Uh, a while back I made a video called I'm Out of Room. And it was addressing the problem. And I've built these custom shelves. They're on three of the four walls in this room, but they still fill up so quickly. And uh, my collection was spilling out onto the floor. It was stacking up all over the place. I had thousands of discs on the floor. Now collectors know that's not where you want your stuff. So I had to get it under control. The first thing that I did was curate. I went through my collection, pulled out everything that I wasn't enjoying, had no intentions to rewatch anytime soon, got it out of here. That was step number one. But step number two, I'm seeing all these things that I don't want to get rid of, mostly DVDs. Uh, I've moved on to Blu-ray, I've moved on to 4K, but DVDs are still the last format for a lot of things, a lot of TV shows, a lot of music releases. Uh, you know, music concerts, things like that. So I didn't want to get rid of them, but I had to figure out something else. So I'm going to tell you how I turned this into this. This is 230 DVDs. You saw how much room 100 DVD cases took up. Double that, add 30. That's what's in this roughly two foot long storage container. Uh, what is it? It's DVD protective sleeves. That's all it is, is I've, I've opted to put them in these sleeves because they are like trading card thin and I have everything that I need. The only thing that I don't have is this bulky packaging now. So how does it work? It's basically uh, these, uh, you know, I've, I've opted for the Terrafold brand. This is what I'm using. This is exactly them. I bought five packs of these. Uh, this is 100 for, it's about $25. Now they have Blu-rays, uh, Blu-ray sleeves as well. They have CD case sleeve, CD sleeves. They all vary in price. This is the cheapest option as I'm making this video. Uh, by the way, guys, don't suffocate. So what is it? It's uh, these sleeves that you basically just take the art wrap out of your disc. Uh, you take the DVD paper, you know, the paper wrap out. You fold it on the already, this was very important. You fold it on the already folded lines here. Some of the cheaper brands, there are cheaper brands than Terrafold. Terrafold is not a sponsor, by the way. I just thought they were the best. Uh, you have to fold your art wrap right down the middle of the spine. Well, who wants to do that? Because you forever, you know, bent your case. This, you fold it right along where it's supposed to be folded. You put the disc in here, you lay it over, and you put it in the case. Now, some of you guys are going to be really triggered that I just put this directly on the paper. You don't have to put it directly on the paper. Um, and I'm, I'm not worried about dirt. I'm not worried about scratches. Honestly, I'm not. These have never, all my discs have only ever lived in their case. They go from the case to the player, back to the case. Never lay them on top of the TV or anything like that. However, if I was concerned about that, I could have thrown in one of these. And I have done this to give extra protection for like two disc sets or things like that. But, you know, if you want to go much thicker than this, you're gonna miss out on, you wanna see, you want it to be as thin as possible. And the more protection you put around that disc, you're taking up more and more space. So for me, this was the best thing. And uh, I just love how much life it puts back into my DVD collection. Doesn't this look great? Uh, without the clunkiness, the bulk of the DVD cases, it, I can alphabetize this. I can constantly, look guys, I can, Look how easily I can just browse through here. I could have put more in here if I wanted to, but this was perfect for browsing. Uh, and there's like, there's all kinds of stuff that, you know, some of this stuff, will it ever get a Blu-ray? I don't know. So I'm holding on to the DVD. Um, the outer case here comes in a six pack. You get six of these for about 30 bucks. I've only used one. <laughs> so, you know, do the math on that. Over a thousand discs with, uh, with these cases to get them off the shelf by, with my methods. Um, I'll put links in the description of the video for these as well. For me, it's perfect. I love it. It's not going to be perfect for everybody. It's not going to fit Warner Brothers snapper discs. It's not going to fit multi-disc sets like TV show releases. And of course, slip covers don't fit in these cases. So it's really a solution for older single case discs. Uh, but for me, that's a huge step forward. I'm already considering 
uh, what Blu-rays now I can get off the shelf and keep in storage methods like this because my space is so valuable and this has allowed me to maximize my space while minimizing its impact on my lifestyle. So I love it. I want to know what you guys think about it. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, and until next time, I will catch you later.